Welcome to Mana's Seal YouTube channel. The previous video link is on the description box or on the top right card. Volume 13 The Paladin of the Holy Kingdom. Albedo's words froze Ains's facial expression solid. But of course, Ains had no facial expressions to speak of. The way the two guardians who were also the most knowledgeable guardians in Nazark nodded in unison before him filled him with various flavors of terror and anxiety. Wait, wait. Indeed, yes, it is true. Ains began to panic. The conversation had traveled a path that was slightly different from what he had foreseen, and so he had become confused and could not clearly think of what he wanted to say. However, indeed, under normal circumstances I would have acted as you had imagined. Ha. Huh. Ains was slightly confused. He struggled to piece some words together and threw them out as appropriate. Even so, the two of them continued nodding vigorously, and Ains found that a little odd. He continued speaking, desperately hoping for a last second save. However, yes, however. This time was slightly different. I did not do this because I was planning something. Having found a way to amend his words, Ains delightedly continued. This time round, I was deliberately introducing a flaw into the plan. What would be the reason for that, Ains Sama? Ains slowly leaned on the back of the chair with him. Then he adopted a well-practiced posture, a grand one that was befitting of a ruler, which a master ought to have, and then spoke. Demirch. Albedo. The two of you are more intelligent than me. That. Ains held up his hand to stop the two of them from speaking. I am just saying that this is how I feel. In that case, what would happen if something unexpected occurred during parts of the event described in your plan? If everything proceeded as you outlined, then everything would have been perfect and ended in excellent form. That said, your plan was really over the top, Ains grumbled in his heart. I felt I was sure to fail given how you threw everything in your operation outline at me. Therefore, a question suddenly came to mind, Demirge. A perfect tactical mind can not only function when everything is going on course, it must also be able to work when the situation changes dramatically, or when it diverges from your expectations. That is to say, I wanted to know if your adaptability was also as laudable. I see, so that's it. Eh? He already got it. And he sounds like he understands it all too. Ains resisted the urge to make a jab about Demirge's preternatural processing speed, something along the lines of, you're already so smart, why do you think I'm smarter? Are you bullying me? As expected of, ah, you're as impressive as I expected, Demirge. Thank you very much, Ains Sama. Still, I, ah, apologize, though it feels like I was testing you. Certainly not, Ains Sama. To me, the fact that you would wish to assess my abilities is an honor that knows no equal. I will assuredly return results that match your expectations, Ains Sama. Yumu. I'll leave that to you, Demirge. In that case, during the course of our activities in the Holy Kingdom, I will cause problems as needed, and you will amend the plan in response. Will that be alright? Yes. I understand. Alright. Ains rejoiced within his heart. He was so happy that the emotion was suppressed. Even so, excitement still remained inside him. Good, good, good. This way, even if I screw up, I can say that I was doing it on purpose. No, of course, I need to try not to screw up in the first place. If I'd known, I should have said this from the start. While he did not have the bad habit of gloating when a subordinate's plan went awry, it was possible that he might accidentally do something to make them worry. In this way, they would not have to guess if he had some intention in mind, but instead move on to revising the plan as needed. Ains felt the sense of bliss which came with taking a heavy weight off his shoulders. Your servant understands your concerns, Ains Sama. So does that mean that you will be simultaneously assessing the abilities of each floor and area guardian as well? As he heard Albedo's question, Ains was briefly puzzled for a moment and thought, what's she saying? However, there's no need to do so right now. I am doing so for Demiurge because he must work outside Nazarek for extended periods. As for the others, I will test them when it becomes necessary. I see. Yumu. Now, for the next topic. The initial plan was to take those people of the Holy King who were enthralled with me, and proceed to the eastern part of the Holy Kingdom, to the Abelian Hills where the Demi-humans lived. However, I am going to amend this part of the plan. I will go there first. From there, spread the news of my death. It felt like time had stopped for a moment. And then. A. Eh? What are you saying, Ain Sama? How could we announce the death of the Supreme One, Ain Sama? That protest came from Albedo. This might have been the first time he had seen Albedo's expression crumble in this way. At least, that was how the look on her face made him feel. But before Ains could explain his true intentions to Albedo, it was Demirge's turn to speak up. Albedo. Since Ains Sama has stated this, he must have some wonderful aim in mind. Do you not think rejecting it on an emotional basis is inappropriate? Demirge. I question where your calm comes from. Would you react in this way if Albert Olay Nodal, Sama were to say the same thing? Or? Fufu. 
Albedo, could you tell me what you mean by that? Or do you mean that you have something to say to me afterwards? The two guardians glared at each other, one with a freezing cold gaze, the other with boiling hot eyes, and a strange atmosphere began to brew between the two of them. This choking sensation was much like what had happened when Ains had been fighting Shaltir. Perhaps it was due to fear or tension, but even Lupus Regina was starting to pant heavily. Enough. The dangerous mood in the air instantly vanished as Ains shouted. The sudden change made Ains wonder if he had been mistaken about what had happened just now. However, Lopas Regina's labored breathing proved that it had not been an illusion. Calm down, both of you. This is the reason why I must fake my death. There are activities called disaster drills. We must mentally prepare ourselves and plan ahead of time in case of an emergency. In that case, what would you do if I died? I'll start with you, Albedo. Tell me what you have in mind. Yes. I would immediately subject the person who dared disrespect you to all the suffering in this world, and resurrect you, Ain Sama. I see. You turn, Demiurge. Yes. While preparing for your resurrection, I would strengthen Nazarek's defenses, and then obtain information on the person who offended you. Albedo glared at Demiurge out of the corner of her eye. Merely gathering information on them is too lenient. Regardless of who dares offend the Supreme One, they must be captured with all the strength Nazar can bring to bear, and then tormented to the point where their ego breaks down. Albedo, I feel what you say is very sensible. However, the enemy is someone who can kill Ain Sama. Thus, we cannot be careless. Learning the enemy's movements and strengths is vital. If the enemy is stronger than we can imagine, then the place in which we resurrect Ain Sama will become very important. Before Albedo's expression could turn even more grim, Ains wrapped his staff on the floorboards. The hard impact was like splashing a bucket of ice water on the two of them, and their faces immediately regained their calm. I did not specify that I was killed by someone. If things go badly, it is not impossible that I might end up dying naturally from some unforeseen circumstances. In truth, he could not think of any natural cause from which he could die, which was why he was using such vague terms. However, it would seem that even the two people that I consider the most intelligent of all have differing opinions. That distresses me. That is why we must undertake this training, so that there will be no problems if this imagined scenario comes to pass. The two of them bowed their heads. Of course, I am not the only one who could suffer that fate. Demiurge, as Nazarek's defensive commander during a time of attack, if an unexpected situation occurs and you are struck down, could Nazarek continue functioning normally? Yes. I have made thorough preparations in that respect. I recall submitting a report on that to you in the past, Ains Sama. Hey, did I receive something like that? Ains decided that it would be better to trust Demiurge's memory than his own. Yumu. Still, that is only on paper, is it not? The reason I am asking is because I would like to know if you have tested to see if it truly works out. I sincerely apologize. I have not done so. Demiurge bowed his head, his face a mask of deepest regret as his voice trembled. My, my deepest apologies, Ains Sama. Signing off on the document without making that suggestion was foolishness on my part. Albedo had the same look on her face as Demiurge as she bowed her head. Ains was filled with a tremendous sense of guilt. Whose fault was it? The answer was that it was his own. If he had been more reliable, the two of them would not need to apologize like this. Was he not a scummy boss? There is no need for you two to apologize. It was my fault for not properly explaining matters to you. I was the one who should have noticed that no test had occurred. The mistake is mine. Ains bowed his head until his forehead touched the desk. All this was due to my unworthiness, and I seek everyone's forgiveness. What? Ains Sama. Please, please do not do that. The two of them hurriedly tried to stop Ains. However, Ains did not raise his head. He was too ashamed to show them his face, because he knew that he was so shallow that he could not even come clean when apologizing. Lulupas Regina. Hurry and raise Ains' head. Hey. Me. Please, please forgive me, I can't possibly raise Ains' Sama's head by force. Please, please raise your head. They all said in unison. It was only after the three of them Demiurge in particular started looking especially flustered that Ains hurriedly looked up. After that, he heard sighs of relief from the three of them. I am grateful that you have accepted my apology. Now then, when I reach the Abelian Hills, we will use my death as the basis for an exercise. Yes. Since this is a rare opportunity, why don't we conduct other exercises as well? For instance, if Demiurge and I were killed off by someone, that sort of thing. At this point, Ains began to feel uneasy about his own suggestions. That said, even I have not fully planned out the details when it comes to this training. Therefore, if you have come up with a better plan, go ahead and carry it out. Ah, no need to ask my permission. After all, this is an exercise founded on the premise that I am dead. The two of them smiled bitterly. Ain Sama, having to consider you dead from the start of the exercise's planning phase is a little. It is as Demiurge says, Ain Sama. Ha ha ha, the laughter of three people rang through the cabin. 
Two of them were laughing from the heart, but one was merely pretending. Still, you don't need to take it too seriously, you know. After all, the objective of this exercise is not to spread ill will throughout Nazarp, like what happened with the two of you just now. However, I would like to conduct various kinds of training and accumulate knowledge in that field, so that every guardian can become interchangeable well, I know what I've said is pointless, given your respective intellects. Do what you feel needs to be done, to whatever extent you deem fit. Can I leave that to you? Now that he thought about it, Suzuki Satoru had never been the type of person who had seriously carried out disaster drills, so was it really convincing when someone like that told others to do their best? That was why he could not forget to tell them to take it easy. After seeing the two of them bow deeply to him, Ains said, Now then, well this is a different matter. Let's go, me. The reason why he had drawn up all these flowcarts and simulated ways of talking down the two guardians, was for the same. You are to freeze all progress on the giant statue of me that is currently in planning. I understand. We will do as you direct. Albedo's single sentence seemed to put an end to the entire topic. Ha. Huh. Ains's attitude turned from baffled to fearful as he nervously asked what was on his mind. Is that alright? It was your idea, was it not, Albedo? How could anyone contradict a decision that the supreme being has made, Ains Sama? If you say it is white, then it will be white even though it is black. That is all. Ains gulped. That line of thought frightened him, and he trembled. I do not like that way of thinking, Albedo. That is just like abandoning all thought, and even I will most certainly make mistakes at some point. He was just saying most certainly, but it felt like it had been happening all the time. And in that case, won't everything be over if I'm captured? The person who brainwashed Sheltier is still out there, you know. Well there is no need to question each and every one of my aims, if I suggest something and you think of something, you ought to bring it up. I understand. Albedo and Demiurge glance briefly at each other through narrowed eyes. Then, may I ask why you wish to cease construction? Is the aim of that statue not to let the world better understand your glory, Ains Sama? You move, Ains laughed coldly in his heart. My greatness is not something that can only be expressed through material objects. He recalled that this line had received approval from Mia. It's perfect. Would it not be better to teach them with material objects? After all, fools are those who can only understand what they see before their eyes. Albedo's words froze Ains in place. It was just like a pitcher throwing a ball at a batter, but instead of having it being hit back at him, the batter caught it instead and threw it back at full force. I see. You have a point, Albedo, but... As Ains thanked his voice for not trembling, he struggled to work his brain, and then gave up when nothing came to mind. While he nearly rounded his shoulders, he could not allow his image as a ruler to crumble before his subordinates. No, forget it. I'm sure that Albedo can pick out at least five of the flaws I've spotted, and the merits outweigh them. In that case, there is nothing else for me to say. Five, five flaws. Demiurge, I need to discuss something with you later. May I borrow your intellect for a while? But, but of course. I, I expected nothing less of you, Ains Sama, to think you would say our minds were superior truly, you are too humble. The two of them began to get flustered, and Albedo bowed her head deeply. I, I am truly sorry, Ains Sama. While my plan to build your statue has already received your approval, please allow me to temporarily suspend construction. I sincerely apologize. Hm, hm. Well, it can't be helped then. Proceed, Albedo. Ains had merely tossed out an offhand remark, but Albedo and Demiurge seemed abnormally shaken by it. He could even hear Lupus Regina whisper amazing from behind them. He looked away, feeling guilty because he had once again confused the two of them by talking nonsense. However, he was glad that the plan to build the giant statue would be briefly halted. Next, I need to do something about the four festivals with my name on it, like the Sorcerer King Grand Thanksgiving, the Sorcerer King's birthday and so on. If the Sorcerer King Grand Thanksgiving is cancelled because the statue's been cancelled as well, that just leaves three of them. Besides, if these were normal festivals, I wouldn't want to stop them either. In truth, Ains had once nonchalantly suggested a plan for organizing festivals. However, that had led to the formation of a strange and embarrassing festival committee. Ains sighed long and loud in his heart, and then looked at Demiurge. Alright, that leaves the details which I need to discuss with Demiurge. After this, you'll have the demon you summoned, that is to say, Jeldabia, attack that city, right? Yes. Indeed, that is so. Therefore, I have a couple of requests. The first concerns a personal project I am carrying out which is not going too well, for which I will need your help. Ah, don't worry, there's no need to get too flashy with it. And the second thing is, can you command that summoned demon to fight in earnest with me? 